everyone and welcome back to Little Books Great Stories. And today we'll be reading Pinkalicious and the Merminis. I can't wait to meet your cousin, I said to my friend Aqua. Aqua and her cousin are Merminis. Merminis are miniature mer people. You'll love Splash, Aqua said. She waved at her cousin, who was juggling three sea stars. Presenting Splash the Mermazing, Aqua said with a laugh. Come meet my friends, she called. The waves crashed loudly. What did you say? Splash asked. Do more tricks for your friends? Splash balanced on a turtle. Presenting... Eek! Splash squeaked. His tail slipped. He splashed into the sea. I meant to do that, he called. Now will you come ashore? Aqua called to Splash. You want an encore? Splash asked. <sighs> he can't hear me. He's too far away, Peter said. Then we have to be louder, I said. We can use conch shells as horns. We waved and yelled and jumped up and down. A standing ovation, Splash gasped. What a great audience. He took a bow. I have one more trick, Splash said. Meet my friend, Tiny. Pink a wow, I said. Tiny wasn't tiny. He was a huge whale. The whale spouted water. Splash rode on her spray. Splash did a flip in midair. Oh no! Now he was too far away from the whale's spray. Splash was going to fall. Splash crashed down to the sea. I meant to do that! He called up. He pulled at his tail. It was stuck in seaweed. I'll go help him, Aqua said. I wish we could come too, I said, but it's too far to swim. Suddenly, I saw a ripple in the water. It was the turtles. They're making a path for you, said Aqua. So we can go help Splash, I said. We hopped from turtle to turtle. It's turtle hopscotch, Peter said. Finally, we got to Splash. Meet Pinkalicious and Peter, Aqua said. Am I glad to see you, Splash said. I could really use a hand. Or a tail, Aqua said. We all worked together to untangle Splash. Seaweed went everywhere. Some landed on my head. You look like a mermaid, said Peter. Seaweed stuck to Peter's head, too. You look like you're the king of the sea, I said. I'm free, Splash gasped at last. Thanks to my old sea friends and my new ones, too. Splash was so happy that he spun around three times in the water. Peter and I laughed. Splash is silly, Peter said. I know just how to thank you, said Splash. He whispered something to Tiny. Tiny spouted water. Time to take a ride, Splash said. Me first, Peter said. Peter zoomed up into the air on Tiny Spray. Your turn, Peter told me. I felt a little scared. Aqua swam over. Do you want to ride together? Aqua asked. Yes, thank you, I said. Whoosh, we soared into the air. It was mermazing. I'm flying, I said. I can fly too, Splash said. He grabbed onto a seagull's tail. The bird carried him up and up. Splash waved hello and lost his balance. Oops, he said. 
He fell into the waves. That was fun, Splash said. We all laughed. Splash knows how to make a splash, I said. If you like Pinkalicious, then be sure to check out all the other Pinkalicious stories we have here at Little Books Great Stories. And make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, like the video, and come back again next week for another great story.